Hey, what's up you guys? Aftershare Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to some more of The Flash. This is season uh, 6 episode 18. Let's get into the episode. Hands up! Don't move! Oh, you scared the bejesus out of me. How'd you find him? It's Iris. Yeah, he does need to know this actually. Wally warned me that something was off with Iris. And, then and you did nothing. Frost, I noticed that she was being weird with you. And you did people. nothing. You didn't say anything about it. It's not your fault. Well, where are the other duplicates now? Iris's copy's gone. She shattered into a million pieces right in front of me. I know it wasn't her, but right before it happened, she seemed so alive. Almost like she was really back. I'm trying to have hope that it's all gonna work out, but I can't help feeling, Joe, what if I can't save her this time? And I believe that you can, but do you? What does that even mean, Mirrorverse? Can we even get them back? Oh my god, we we have to warn David's husband. Did we're leaving we... with some copy of Camilla. Yeah. While the real one's trapped somewhere. Eva said they're safe for now. And you're taking her word for it. For all we know, they're dead already. They're not. So just, you don't even think about that. We have to think about that. What if creating Camilla's duplicate actually killed the real Camilla? Same thing with Singh, same thing with Iris. Hello? What do you want me to say? Anything! That we have a plan that will get them back! I don't have a plan, Cisco. Eva can move anywhere, through any mirror in the universe, in the blink of an eye. She's faster than I am, and somehow I'm supposed to stop her? And still hope to God that Iris and everybody else are still alive in a world that we don't even understand! Hey, you're both right, but we cannot fall apart. We need to work the problem, not tear each other down. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna call David's husband. I'll check the Bentley building. I'm gonna see if I can dig up any details on this Eva McCulloch. If the mirror verse is just another dimension, there might be a way to enter vibrationally. Oh, like if you had your so powers, maybe? For help. I guess that means I'm doing this one on my own. How dumb am I, huh? I've been working side by side with duplicates this whole time. I mean, time. it's not like you Some knew her very well, to be honest. Wait, does that mean... I'm in charge as a citizen? How the hell am I supposed to? That got me! But like, why? Godspeed. You're the one that stopped the others. I am not impressed. Ooh, what do you want? <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. Looking for a reason to test out this pulse cannon. <laughs> this isn't over. Didn't you say all four god speeds were locked up at Iron Heights? Those are just cybernetic drones with modem speak. This one was talking. Do you not happen to have protective protocols for this place? Do not put this on me. I am trying to figure out a way into the mirror verse. What were you doing? I was saving our speedster. Oh, good for you. You did something. Everyone's what are you thinking? yelling at everyone. <sighs> Cisco, you're the schmiancy guy. You must have some kind of a plan, right? Ralph, please, I'm trying to get our friends back right now. One's really stressed. Okay, Allegra, you said Godspeed's lightning caused some sort of blast. Yeah. I know who could help us. Hartley. Hartley Rathaway. Been a while. Rathaway. He is an expert in psychoacoustics and sonic vibrations. He used to work for Star Labs. Also, a I jerk who hates us so much, he tried to Julian your insights. It turns out that he hates the Flash even more post-crisis, so only we don't really know why. Correction, I know why. My crisis research dug up the answer to that. Henchman. No, it was only me and Hartley. Not in this timeline. Pied Piper's band of merry men tried to flank you while you were distracted playing musical cards. You clocked them, but when one of them tried to shoot at you, you countered with a lightning bolt. That lightning collided with the weapon's blast. And turns out that was Hartley's right-hand man, Roderick Smith. It's Frost. Sorry, guys, I gotta check on this. Roderick Smith is being held in an energy containment unit in Mercury Labs. Apparently, it's the only thing that's keeping him from completely disintegrating. I guess that's a no to Pied Piper's help. Well, he did almost kill us, so. Let's not bicker over who killed who. We can fix this. We just make his right-hand man right again, and then maybe Hartley will agree to a little quid pro quo. I have a theory. That it's a demon? A dancing demon? Yes. 
the wound getting worse? Ralph, I'm fine. As fine as anyone with a chronic light bullet avulsion can be in their chest. This patch is keeping me stable for now. Why do they always make a hey, pregnant man. woman wear flannel? I just is there something about the, the squares and stripes done that for me this year for make you look taking me to an art less show pregnant? teaching me how to get in touch with emotions I didn't even know I had. I know I've still got a long way to go, but I'm leaving soon, so he might not be able to finish this. Ralph, forget it. I, I just, I wanted to say goodbye to an old friend. Hello, Flash. Hello! I heard you coming from a mile away. I know what happened now. And I'm sorry. Something wrong with your speed? I'm trying to make things right with you. Now you're sorry? I think I can help Roderick. Is Roderick his new Harrison Well? What do you know about Roderick? I, I know his condition's my fault, but I think I can fix it. If you'll give me the chance. And if you're willing, I could use your help. Hmm. There's a new speedster. Here we go. He's a threat to the whole city, Hartley. He's using sound waves. You're the only person we know that can stop him. Lives I don't care. I want to help Roderick. Well, you can't. Let me try. I said you can't help him. Don't you get it? No one can. I thought I could stabilize his molecules with my sonnets, but... <laughs> I wasn't strong enough. So you sent him to Mercury Labs. We think we can't help him. Who is this we and us? Harrison Wells. Your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Nash Wells. <laughs> well, I mean, not him, though. But... Harrison Wells is my doppelganger. Your doppelganger. <laughs> not explain. Okay, so there was this big event we call it Crisis. And He's his twin. He's my twin. <laughs> huh. Twice blessed. We think that there may actually be a way to help Roderick. Fine. You fixed Roderick? And maybe I'll help you. This is the mirror burst, because Star Labs was backwards. Camilla? Yeah. It's me, Iris. You're the one who sent me here. No, whoever she was, that was not me, I swear. And tell me something only the real Iris would know. Cisco is the love of your life, and he always makes you laugh. It's you. Thank God. After you or whoever looked like you shot me with that mirror gun, I just woke up here totally alone. You never saw Eva? She's alive? She's here? She's the meta behind all of this, and, and now she's escaped into our world. I gathered all the items that the mirror gun sent here. I've been analyzing them for clues, but the data keeps getting all wonky when I try to see the screen. <sighs> hey, you okay? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> but you are. The neural dissonance hasn't affected you yet. It's this condition that affects our minds in this, uh, this mirrorverse. That explains the screens. When I look at them too long, I get a headache. Yeah, that's how it started for me. Too, with Eva's computers, everything was broken and, and, and fractured, but now, now I can read them. You can help us get out of here. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't. Truth hurts. Truth hurts. We, 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 we shouldn't be here. We should not be here. I should not be here. A few months ago, I theorized there might be a mechanical way to open a breach to an alternate dimension. It looks like an engine for focusing subatomic vibrations. Or as you would say, vibes. Oh, please. I figured that out ages ago. That hair? That giveaway. <laughs> Ramon. You too, Flash. And there's only three facilities in the state that could build a suit with that much bleeding edge tech. But only one of them had someone brilliant enough to build it. Thanks. Harrison Wells. <laughs> What I don't yeah, get is why you need a machine when you could just use your damn vibes. It, oh, oh apparently you. You can't vibe anymore. Oh, ouch! You lost your meta mojo. Oh well, you could try being a barista. I gave up my powers by choice. Yes, yeah, stupid choice. You know, I'm making this so that I can save the person I love the most. But I wouldn't expect you to understand that, really. He's the been in love. You love the most is yourself. How dare you? He loved Harrison I'm Wells. You're ready to work. They had a very so emotional affair together. Here. Also, I think this guy's his, his boyfriend too. Here's what I need from you. I need you to direct a concentrated UV blast into the reception conduit of this containment unit. I am going to release helium into it. Oh, of and course, when those two things collide, useful, pop. Yeah. It should lock Roderick's molecules back into human form. You ready? We'll go on three. Three. It's working. No, no, no wait. Stop. Wells, enough. No! 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 It's never just easy, is it? Hartley, 
I'm sorry, but we can try. I was stupid for trusting you. Don't ask me for anything, ever. My world is over. I hope yours burns. Give me your velocity or your city pays. You have one hour. You're not fast enough to stop me. None of you are. Death will rain down on your city, Flash, unless you give me what I want. Choose wisely. Nash! Hey, Nash, what the hell? I've been working on these all day. You're wasting time. Why? You don't have to tell me. We don't know each other. You could talk to Joe and Iris, but they're not here. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? It's mine, all right? Is that what you want me to say? I'm supposed to lead this team. I don't even know what to tell them. When I lost Maya, every day since then, I wanted to say, hey, listen, I'm sorry. It was my fault, but she's gone. When I was Priya and I watched my mistake burn down the multiverse, I wanted to tell those people, I'm sorry, but they were gone, and it was over, and this is not over for you. You can find your way out of this. All you have to do is trust yourself. How am I supposed to do that? I just lived with an imposter for five weeks. Forgive yourself. You showed me that. Now it's time for you to do it for you. And you know what? If you can't, do it for Iris. You miss her so much. Without her here, it feels like... I know why Hartley's world is over. Because it's his boyfriend. I got this way early. Thank you, Nash. I was with Camilla when Bloodworks Monsters attacked, and, and you gotta trust me that no matter where she is, your girl knows how to take care of herself. Yeah, yeah, she's I, one of a kind. It's just, when Camilla's around, I want to show her I'm strong. I want to believe I'm making the right decisions. It gives me the confidence I need, but she's she's not here. And all I can think about is the hero I used to be. He was just full of life, and he wasn't afraid to do the impossible. He was... Well, maybe you shouldn't have given up your powers. Just saying. He was vibe. He had all the answers. Sometimes he was the answer. If Camilla's not here, the vibe is gone. If... What if you don't have all the answers and you're making the wrong decisions? Cisco, Camilla did not fall in love with your powers. She fell in love with you. You and that big, beautiful brain of yours. Boo hoo. Cisco Ramon isn't vibe anymore. Oh, uh, excuse is? me, it's more. He is a boo hoo! This brilliant is brilliant really sad. Like, really, really, really sad. Down from doing the impossible before. Like, genuinely, really sad. You gonna start Personally now? Personally, attract you. No, ma'am. Get out. I know why you're so upset. You don't know anything about me. You're still at Star Labs. I know what it's like to be responsible for losing the person I love, Roderick. He's not just another hard gun, is he? He's my boyfriend. What about Harry's mouth? I put him in the line of fire when I fought you, meaning that what happened to him is my fault. You're not the only one to blame. I threw the lightning, remember? I gave him the weapon that made you defend yourself. And then when I couldn't help him, you got him the help he needed. He was better off at Mercury Labs than with me. But I was useless. We're no good to the people that we love if we can't find the strength to move forward and forgive ourselves. Thanks, Oprah. Hey, we got a big problem at Iron Heights. You can stay here, or you can be the person that Roderick fell in love with. It's your call. The person that Roderick fell in love with was a villain, so... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Uh-oh. It's gone. We get a video feed. What happened in there? I'm trying. Oh, crap. Godspeed we caught till now. He took all their speed. This. You have one minute, Flash. After that, someone dies every 60 seconds until you surrender what's mine. I have to stop. Why are you reminding me of Zoom? Zoom did a bit. I know you want to do this, but you don't have a lot of speed, okay? We need to call CCPD or Argus, anyone who can help. Godspeed is my responsibility. I have to face him. Barry, you don't. I have enough speed left to do this. Even if I don't, I have to try. I have to try. Someone dies every 60 seconds. You surrender what you want. A lot of speed. It is my responsibility. I have to face I it. I have to try. I have enough speed left to do this. Someone dies. I have to try. Someone dies. I have to try. I have to try. Time's up, Flash. Have you?
you come to give me what's mine? You have to catch me first. He's it's like, let's use the rest, than you. the rest but I know of the city better than him. And then he says, do you have anything to take? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't save you so we could chat. That's your backup? It won't help. Harley, I can't stop God's speed. He's too powerful. Oh my God, how thick are you? Roderick got hurt when the lightning you threw collided with the vibrational force of his weapon. The result was a thermogenic blast capable of rendering him unstable at a molecular level. Just duplicate that force. God's speed stops. Bingo, bango. Flash! Now you'll feel the real power of speed. You ready? Let's do it. Where's he going? Barry, you're going the wrong way. Wait for it. Now, Flash! They cross streams. Thanks for coming after me. Yeah, don't mention it. You won another battle against some speed freak, and I lost everything. I promise we'll figure something out. Is that Gatsby's blood? The hell? Satellite readings in the cape. It could be some kind of biogenic electrolyte secretion. It's charged sound. Oh, boys. I do believe we found the solution we're looking for. Normal sound can temporarily reattach molecular bonds. Charged sound can permanently attach them. A permanent bonding agent. Early. This will stabilize Roger. If you hurt him, I'll hurt you. Ready? Ready. How convenient that they find what they need. I'm here. <laughs> this episode's villain. Thought I'd lost you. Come on. You know I'm harder to get rid of than that. <laughs> so, uh, what happened? Last thing I remember, we were at the dam and the flash, he helped. He helped bring you back. We'll give you guys some space. I'm glad we reunited the happy couple, but I have to say I am super relieved to finally get rid of Godspeed. And this one talks. So yeah, we haven't we really real done much with Godspeed, have we? That's not the real Godspeed. Once he was placed in a meta-dampening cell, I questioned him as the flash, and all he could say was, the one who sent me wants infinite velocity. When you were fighting Godspeed, he said, we deserve your speed. Who's we? Does we include the one who sent him? He couldn't tell me. Because he stopped talking. And started chirping like a broken modem, just like the rest of them. I don't know how to thank you. I, we lost everything when we lost each other. Even hope. Thank you for not giving up. You gave us back us. I owe you. We both do. Good luck. Just maybe stay out of diamond stores for a while. No promises. Okay, look, um, you know I'm not exactly the let's hug it out type, so I'll just say this. You gave me my world back. You'll get your world back too, but you have to do more than just forgive yourself. You have to believe that your world can change. That's the part I'd forgotten. Thanks for reminding me. I thought you were going to help. We've all lost so much this year. Our power, our love, our family. At times it's even felt like there's nothing left to lose. Like everything that matters has already been taken and our lives are empty, hollow inside. Some things can't be taken. And look around this room. We still have our faith in each other and our will to fight for those we love. This is what we'll never lose. Eva McCulloch has never faced us head on. And that's about to change. We're gonna find her. 
Beat her. And get back everyone. You just tell me where to stretch. And blast. Sounds violent. I'm in. I have an idea. A way to get our people out of the mirrorverse. We need a lossless, self-sustaining source of perpetual energy. Sounds like you're talking about the holy grail of science. A perpetual motion machine. That's right. Hartley had some ideas. I think we can actually build one. We're just missing one component, and thanks to my travels, I know exactly where to find it. Atlantis. Finally, crisis pays off in a good way for once. I know time is crucial, but don't worry. I'll hurry back. Can I come? Actually, if you don't mind, I'd like for you to stay. Team Flash needs as many hands on deck as possible. Now let's get to work. The hell? Why are you in the machine pull? I'm coming for you, Joseph. Why are you in the machine pull? Hey, what's up, you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this, very edit, for example. Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty -o. uh, well that was Season 6, Episode 18. I don't really care about that ending. Um, right, um, it was a decent episode. It was nice to get, um, Hartley back, um, it's been like so long. I mean, like we did have like a minor appearance uh, earlier this season, but like I don't know. It's been so long since we saw him. Like I think it was like season two or something. Like they changed the like he had a brief appearance and they changed the the, uh, the timeline. Um, and he was a good guy, and they never really did anything with that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm glad they brought it back here. Uh, yeah. Only one more episode to go this season. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.